Former Governor of Kano State, Senator Rabi Ukwankwaso, Buba Galadima, Senator Hunkui and others are reportedly getting set to join the new Nigeria People's Party, NPP. And security operatives take over Cross River State House of Assembly after the court had sacked 20 of its lawmakers. This is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anako. A former governor of Kano State, Senator Rabiu Kwankwaso, was allegedly tidying up to defect from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the new Nigeria People's Party, NPP. It was gathered that Alhaji Buba Galadima made the disclosure while speaking on an online television channel of the party, NNPP TV. Now, parts of the discussion revealed some other groups have collapsed their entire structures into the NPP in preparation to receive Senator Kwankwaso officially into the party. Well, joining us to discuss this is John C. Ifemeje. He is uh, the national chairman, New Nigeria People's Party, NPP. Thank you so much um, for joining us. Thank you. All right, great. Let's start Thank by... We're glad to have you. Let's start by looking at uh, Mr. Galadima's um, claim that um, the party is going to have a lot of um, other structures collapse into the NPP in preparation uh, to receive um, governor, former governor of Kanu State. Um, is, the, is this true about the NPP? That is, that is an absolute truth. Absolutely. Okay. Can you hear me? I'm hearing. I said that is true. Oh, this is true. So the NPP is getting ready to um, receive um, the governor, former governor of Kano State. But then um, the former governor has not said anything as regards his leaving the party. The PDP has also not said anything as regards his leaving the party. Um, it, why exactly do you think that he's chosen your party if this be anything that we should go by? Well, very, very soon, hopefully very soon, we will hear the gentleman coming out in full play to join our noble party, the LNPP. And we are waiting for him to declare to join our party as a full member of the party. And we are very glad to I'll show you in a few days. Uh, and that is what I'm hoping for. If you will join us, we will uh, embrace him and receive him as one of the important persons in, in the party. Why do you think that um, Mr. Kwankosu is actually interested in your party? And why didn't he join, declare his interest to join the party to help build the structure <laughs> until now? Well, we have been, we have been talking. And we know that uh, hopefully he will join us very soon. We have been talking, trying to encourage him to come over to NMPP because, as you all know, NMPP is a tough one that will definitely ensure in, in giving Nigeria the dividend of democracy. And I think that is uh, what we are trying. His Excellency can help him. Because of the nature of the people that are in the NMP, they are all progressive, and uh, people like one person is a, is a progressive person, like a book of an Adina, and uh, we hope to receive him when he eventually declares his interest. But for now, we are hoping, and we are. Uh, Definitely don't to receive him with our hands wide open. Before now, the NPP, uh, the NNPP has not necessarily been a huge party, it was a huge platform. And so I'm guessing that for you, ha having a Senator Kwankwa, so this will be a, a good thing for you. But let's talk about the parties that uh, Mr. Buba Galadima has spoken of who might be collapsing their structures into the NNPP. 
Now, if you've been closely watching what's been happening in Edo State, the same issue of collapsing structures into another party, uh, uh, just as the deputy governor has said that they brought their structure from the party that they left into the PDP, and now the party is having problems. How do you guard against um, those who are, in quotes, newcomers, um, taking over the structure that you have already built, that has already existed? Would you be okay with that? I don't think we are afraid of newcomers coming into our party. Because anybody that comes to join us with this, we will speak of any newcomer into our party. We are not sure all comers are fair. We look at our previous records, and uh, we are not going to throw everything for anybody to join. If you join the party, you are just like any other member of the party. And, uh, and how do you think that those who have, have been? How do you think about? How do you think that those who have been with the NNPP through thick and thin would feel about those who are just coming into the party, and no, no, of course no. the change that might happen within the structure in the party? That is, if you're going to have, do anything about the structure of the party. But if you're not, then you probably do not need to answer this question. But I'm guessing that if you're having um, high-powered men like Buba Galadima and Senator Kwankwaso within the party, there has to be a rejigging of you know, the structure of the party to accommodate these people. So I'm asking again, how are you going to deal with the sentiments of those who have been there before them? The party has a, a, a lot of factors that can accommodate anybody in their spiritual. And uh, we are not afraid of admitting to the party. What we, we look at is uh, the person's pedigree, past performance, and then with that, we are going to determine where the person can sit in. Hmm. Let me go to what um, Mr. Puba Galadima had said uh, on that um, live interview. I'd like to quote him directly. He said, in our search of a political platform the, for the national movement, which some call the third force, um, we spoke with five political parties. It is only new Nigeria People's Party that the constitution and manifesto rhymed with the inevitable conclusion, which cannot be controverted, that the new Nigeria People's Party is the God-ordained party for the achievement of the ideology of the TNM, which is the ideology of the new Nigeria that every patriotic citizen should be part of. So I'm going to ask you, what exactly is the NNPP about and what exactly is your goal for 2023? We've never really heard about the NN, NN, uh, NNPP as much as we're hearing about it now. What do you intend? What's the end goal for you at the end of the day? Um, do you think that you can produce a president that would resonate with the average Nigerian? As you, we all know, uh, the combination of all the elements of the, the national movement and the old people who are in the NNPP, and the most of the elements coming from the past and still And uh, the national movement and the uh, work of NNPP have the same kind of objectives, very similar. And that's why we decided to go for NNPP for us to use it as a platform to go for any elective office. And uh, the purpose of uh, us at the Nigerians to support our party and what we are intending to do them, we want to bring back peace to, for, uh, to this country, ensure people the existence of all Nigerians. Because as uh, you know, there has been a lot of problems within the ethnic nationalities that are in Nigeria. And our main objective is to restore peace in the country and uh, be able to recognize every right of individuals that are in, in Nigeria and give hope to the rich and the underprivileged. So that they can achieve their aspirations. Hmm. And uh, there are so many things that we have to get from NMPP. Like NMPP will promote good governance, accountability, transparency, equity, fairness, and justice. Presently, we know that all those things are not really existing in the country. NMPP will promote the culture and spirit of inhabitation. 
accommodation and mutual respect among all citizens of Nigeria without prejudice to their tribe, ethnicity, place of origin, and religion. Furthermore, NMPP will create a pool of knowledgeable Nigerians of professionals that will assist in economic and uh, political emancipation of the country. Okay. And for them, and we are there to mobilize the youth to play very active roles in politics and national development. We also intend to work with the masses of the country so as to educate them on how they can achieve both economic and political emancipation. Okay, I see. But I want, to, I want to be a bit more practical with you on this issue. I see that you're right, trying to read out your manifesto and, you know, what the party stands for and what you want to do. Yes, but, 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 no, oh, just hold on. Just hold on. I, I want to find out how deeply rooted is the NNPP within local government states? I, I'm asking this because I'm, the average person who's watching now wants to know, has the NNPC ever won a seat, whether it be at the local level, the state level or the national level and what makes you think that you have a shot in 2023 i mean it's a great thing to have big shots within the party but what is your reach you know, you know the, the situation in the in, in, in 2019 is not the same the so what has changed what has changed is that the, all the elements of the national movement and uh, all the other social groups in Nigeria are all members of the new NNPP. We have a school and we have a family entry coming in from various other parties to join us. So now we have a, a, a bigger platform that can win us any election in Nigeria. So the NNPC's chances of winning anything whatsoever, or even okay. making any, hold on, or making any stride is based on these people who may or may not join your party. And what do you think you can achieve in the space of the few months we have before 2023? I mean, you know it's not magic, so what's the groundwork? Oh, but we have uh, been doing the groundwork. If you look at the way we conducted the previous uh, Congress, we have already conducted the, the World Congress. The local government Congress and the state of the uh, a lot of families of people who are members of our party in every other uh, siege of political events in this country. And they came out for news for the World Congress and the local government and the state Congress is not concluded without problem. And uh, I would encourage you, you uh, see the massive turnout of people that came for all these Congresses. I want to see you uh, do our national convention, and I will ask you know, that the NNPP is uh, really the top one. The reason why I ask that question is because the, you're trying to say you want to bring something new to Nigerians, but Nigerians do not know you. So if I were to take a poll today and said, let's say, for example, a Chiosa local government in Lagos, and I asked a few people if they knew what the NNPP was, what do you think the response would be? How many people out of a hundred would know the NNPP since you say you've in, got some structures? In every constituency in Nigeria, we have members, grassroots members. They are all over the country and they are working seriously to ensure our vote in any uh, elective office that will involved. So, if the members, we have our structures in ground. And then the south, we can also have our center in south side of the country. And we, presently, in the, in the northern part of the country, we are possibly leading. Thank you. Interesting. I'm going to ask one last question before I let you go. A lot of people um, in certain quarters are saying the reason why... Uh, the senator might be leaving the PDP is so that he can pick up a presidential ticket with the NNPP. Is that what you are going to be giving um, the senator when he joins your party? And what's the guarantee that if you give him a ticket, you might get a chance at of that course, seat on uh, Asa Rock? Of course, if you have the ambition, and in the Nigeria, and he wants to join us. Do not deny him the ticket because he's a Nigerian. He's competent. He's qualified for the ticket and office. So, 
Uh, is that is for anybody to, to contest. And whoever is like, want to contest the president of this country, who still is a credential, and uh, it is qualified, it is the ticket. But, what about, uh, what about the issue of zoning? What about the issue of zoning? Where's the NNPP on that? Don't, don't forget that there are those who are agitating NNPP, for zoning um, to NNPP, the south NNPP, of the country. NNPP talks about Nigeria. And we are Nigeria. Every zone in Nigeria is important. Whoever wants to come out uh, from any office is allowed to come out from test. Is a, is, a, is a democracy. Everything we are doing to be democratic. So if a uh, person wants to join us, we are certain with a very open room and uh, go for whatever office you want to go for. Just like any other person who wants to go to that office, has a, has a right to go for the office. In democratic process, we don't buy some appointments or and say it must be for this day or must be for this reason. We take ourselves as Nigerians in the United and we want the best. Mm. Irrespective of where the person comes from, what we want to look for is we look for the best. The best person that can fly out the, the, the flag of the NMDP and then get us victory at the national election. Okay, finally, um, when I was asking about your reach, you talked about young people, and I quickly want to ask how do you intend to get the young people of Nigeria to be part, to be aware of your party, to understand what your party manifesto is and what your plans are for 2023. Yes, you said you've had your ward congresses and all of that, but then what is your party doing in terms of voter education? Like I said, if I were to ask a few people about the NNPP, what would be the response? So what's the work that you're doing? There are many organizations that are members of the NNPP. And we put them through the Pakistan movement and then from the national movement. So many youth organizations are members of the back of any office, and they will be given opportunity to run for any office of their choice, just like any other person. And uh, we encourage the youth to be members of the NFP, and then uh, we will uh, continue to give them direction. Okay, well, we want to... yes, I can hear you. So, uh, as I told you, many youth organizations are members of the current MNPP. So many of them. And uh, they, they have all, whatever is required of them, and they are doing well in the advertising to aims and objectives of the NMP. Okay. And I think we are carrying them along and also showing the the only offices that are reserved for the youth in NMP. We have so many offices. Okay. All right. Well, I want to say thank you. Uh, we have been speaking with Sir John C. Ifemeje. He is a retired Air Vice Marshal and he's the National Chairman of the New Nigeria People's Party. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Okay, thank you. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a short break. Now, when we return, we discuss cross river state politics as 18 lawmakers from the state have been sacked by the court. Stay with us.